The following essay was submitted to Dartmouth in response to the prompt. The Hawaiian word mo'oelo is often translated as story, but it can also refer to history, legend, genealogy, and tradition. Use one of these translations to introduce yourself. My earliest memory is spinning in circles with folk dancers in a flurry of gold, red, and green embroidered on black dresses. We weren't in a dance hall, but in a gymnasium, twirling on three-point arcs and free-throw lines. The Bohemian Hall has tons of contradictions like that. In their beer garden, they serve chicken schnitzel and buffalo wings, macaroni and cheese, and lachenka, or head cheese. Yummy. Happy drunken 20-somethings pass by little kids, and nobody thinks anything of it. Like the Bohemian Hall, the apartment complex I grew up in had its own contradictions. Our Czech landlord, Jardo, was the stereotypical Slavic badass from the movies. Chatting up a crowd drinking their upteenth pilsners, he insulted a tenant that dared complain about asbestos in his apartment. After all, asbestos only spreads if you cut the old pipes. Hung on the walls of Jardo's basement were works of all shapes and sizes, from the lush rolling hills of Morovian landscapes to the curves of the female body in suggestive posters. Jardo smelled of cigarettes and beer, which my mom told me to avoid at all costs. I wondered why she befriended him, but then I realized that he reminded her of home. We couldn't go to the Bohemian Hall every day, but we could always go to Jardo's basement and talk Czechoslovak celebrity gossip. I am constantly brought back to my Slavic heritage, but it is influenced by American lifestyle. I eat goulash at Thanksgiving dinner, speak a mix of English and Slavic Slavklish with my great aunt, and say Nas Dravia instead of cheers when I drink champagne on New Year's Day. My Slavic American heritage was, and always will be, perfectly contradictory. A good response to this prompt should have personal reflection and demonstrate how past experiences have influenced who the student is today. This student did a good job of using vivid sensory details, including visual, olfactory, and auditory, to immerse the reader in their story. The sensory descriptions also add specificity. It's clear that no other student could put their name on this essay. The student also succeeds in using juxtaposition to illustrate the contradictions in their life. Lines like chicken schnitzel and buffalo wings show how these contradictions manifest. Though because the writer clearly conveys this through showing, they need not include the last line that reads, my Slavic American heritage was and always will be perfectly contradictory, because they already show this to the reader without telling it verbatim. This essay has many compelling elements and was written for a student's accepted Dartmouth application, but there is room for improvement. This essay could benefit from more personal reflection. Reflecting in an essay allows the admissions officer allows the reader to understand how the writer makes sense of their lived experience. We all experience similar external stimuli, but the way we internalize them and make meaning out of them is what's unique to us, and that's largely what makes an essay unique to you and makes an essay stand out. This essay could also benefit from better centering the writer in their own story. Currently, the writer is a bit overshadowed by Jardo, the landlord, and in a short essay with a limited word count, there's really no space to discuss something that can't be used to show the writer's feelings or serve as a basis for reflection. Everything about Jardo could have been distilled into one sentence saying something like, I always had a daily reminder of my Slavic heritage when my mom dragged me down to our landlord's basement, reeking of cigarettes and adorned with posters not exactly suitable for a child's eye to share Czechoslovak celebrity gossip. What did you think of this essay? Did you like it? What do you think could be improved? What do you think it did well? Let us know in the comments, and thanks for tuning in. Thank you.